And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ACW Excel. We're live here in Boise, Idaho at the Taco Bell Arena. Yes, there is something called the Taco Bell Arena. Tonight we have five matches, four of them anime draw matches, plus Zuko and Goro go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. It's going to be an impactful episode of Excel here tonight at Boise, Idaho. Hi, my name is Hakeem Johnson. As always, your ACW commentator for programming. And we're here tonight at Boise, Idaho for the final Excel episode to Animania 2. As you see, Mr. MVP Danny Beaky coming out for his match. Now, what are these Animania draw matches, you ask? Well, it's simple. They are, whoa. Well, as I was trying to say before Dan's explosions interrupted me, we have first the Excel Championship, Haru vs. Moroku, the Nintendo Title Championship. It'll be um, Mugen and Sasuke. The Excel Tag Team Match, it'll be Team Guy and Street Fighters. We're mixing all those eight competitors in and putting them in random matches in an Animania draw. So, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have no idea who Danny Beaky is going to fight right now at this very moment. But tonight, Danny Beaky will be in action. Wow. That had, that had a lot to take out of my energy, you know. Yes, we are at the Taco Bell Arena. You think that the Taco Bell merchandise here would be cheaper. It cost me $6 to get a Chalupa. $6! Rip off! As we wait for Danny Beaky's opponent here. Oh, well, look who it is! Danny Beaky will be going one on one against the Intercontinental Champion, Mugen. Ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight we will go over the um, Animania card. Tell you what's the, what's been updated so far on the Animania um, card right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were watching this program before the Excel intro came in. Sasuke and Moroku made an announcement that they will have a third member in Gamma. That's right, in Gamma. Who could this third member be? Of all things, who could it be? Could it be somebody that's in ACW? Could it be somebody that has never debuted or been shown in ACW? A lot of mysteries being speculated tonight, and we're ready to find out who's going to be later on tonight, I guess. You see Mugen. Showing off a little bit, but if you can tell Mugen he's showing off, he pretty much won't care and kick your butt. So I say you let him do what he has to do. But we're in for a great match. Mugen versus Mr. MVP Dan. And you can see Mugen looking right at Danny Beaky from the outside. Mugen's ready to, you know, open a can on anyone who he faces. As here we go, Mugen and Dan are going to go face to face on each other. See the referee trying to restrain order here. And here we go. Danny Beaky, oh, taunting a little bit. And now, uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh ho, -huh, Mugen goes back. And there you go, Danny Beaky with the first strike. Look at those punches onto Mugen. And, oh my goodness. What a nice reverse DDT, a nice flashback, if you will. Made famous by Chris Jericho, Y2J. And Dan was a little taunting there, but Mugen from behind with those attacks. But wait, Mugen with that hard punch to the back of Dan. You can tell that out to her. And now what's this? Oh my goodness, a nice backbreaker there by Mugen. Oh, wait a minute, Mugen early going for the pin here. Oh, Dan kicked out. Mugen looking for a way to get a pin. He doesn't care less how he wins. He just wants to get a win, a V, a W in his um, card in this match tonight. Still speculating who could be the third member of Gamma. Could it be Gara? Could it be Aang? Could it be Zuko? Akuma? Mugen himself? Or somebody that has never been in ACW? Or from another brand from ACW, meaning Impulse? Or from the defunct Turbo brand? Who knows exactly? I, I'm, I'm speechless. I want to find out who it is. And now look at this. Mugen. One. Two. Kick out. What's this now? Dan, tell him you're going to look up. And a poke to the eyes. A little bit shallow there, don't you think, Dan? And now Dan just taking him down with that nice shoulder block. And now what's this? Dan working on the leg here of Mugen. And does a, oh, a knee smash with his own knee. Dan just stomping right at Mugen. And now Dan will go for a cover. But Mugen had his foot on the ropes. 
And we'll break that up with a rope break. Oh my goodness, a DDT, a little swing DDT there. As Dan mocking the fans, mocking Mugen. Dan kind of taking Mugen not seriously. That is a big mistake. you think Dan would take him seriously, especially since he's the Intercontinental Champion. Dan probably should be thinking for himself, hey, you know what? If I beat Mugen, I might be a contender for the ACW Intercontinental Championship. Rope break. And now Dan, look at this, going for a little submission there. Nice uh, inverted yeah. surfboard stretch. Mugen broke that up as well. well ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for watching this XL yeah. episode live from YouTube, VO, and from Call Underground as well. You know, if you're if you're watching from VO, that means you're watching on your VO TV player. You just recently joined us from that preview that you saw from VO.com. And then YouTube, you're watching the first part here of ACW um, XL. Ladies and gentlemen, Animania 2 will be posted. Way to cover. One, two, three. No, Mugen kicked out. As I was trying to say, Animated 2 will be posted on YouTube. It'll be the final ACW click review posted on YouTube. After that, our first click review, Genesis, when we come back from the hiatus, will be posted only on VO and FileFriend.com. Not no longer on YouTube will click reviews be posted at. And wait, wait a minute. Now Dan's going to use the ropes here. And it's choking Mugen here. Come on now. This is an Wait a minute. Mugen puts Dan into the ropes and Dan falls himself. And now Mugen from behind sweeps Dan's legs by that hard kick. Now what's this? He's going for a Boston Crab beer, but we're in Boise, so he's going for the Boise Crab. Oh wait, Dan looks to be, yep, Dan kicks Mugen all the way back to that corner to reverse the Boston Crab or Boise Crab or wherever the crab is. I gotta think of a new name for that thing. If you have any ideas, let me know. Wait a minute, Danny Beaky, I don't like this, oh my goodness, that was hard. Oh my goodness, that is not even right, does he have no shame, man? Look at that takedown by uh, Danny Beaky, oh and look at that, wipes his foot right onto the face of Mugen. I really do think Dan is not taking this seriously, you'd think he would. I guess he thinks he's inferior towards him. And now down with that neck breaker, swinging neck breaker. And now covers Mugen. Could this be it? One, two, kick out. Now what's this? Dan, Dan once again using the ropes to choke out Mugen. Come on, ref, break this up. No, Dan lets it go, but pushes the ropes towards Mugen to make him fall. And now Dan's going to get the cover. Come on, Mugen. One, two, three. No, once again, Mugen kicks out. As Dan is using his little old dirty tactics by using those ropes. And a clothesline by Danny Beaky right onto Mugen, the Intercontinental Champion. But Mugen with a strike to the back of Dan. And now Dan goes down. Mugen looks. Oh, clothesline right there. Wait a minute. Enzo Gurry by Mugen. Mugen looks to be coming back in this match. Grabbles onto Dan. What's this? Oh, and a jawbreaker right onto Danny Beaky, Mr. MVP. What's this? Irish about to Dan. Oh my goodness, a knee thrust. Uh, another one to the gut. And one more for good measure. And Dan is down. Oh, and a turnbuckle drop kick right onto Dan. And look at this, Mugen on the attack now on the offensive with that nice MMA head ground attack. And now look at this, Mugen going for the cover. But Dan had his foot under the ropes. Tough break there. But Mugen takes him down with the little headlock takedown. What's this? Goes up top. Oh, and misses though. Mugen never goes up top at times, so that's probably the reason why he missed it. He's not used to doing that kind of stuff. As Dan kicked him there, but oh, Dan's still up. Oh, and a DDT onto Mugen. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Dan. Here it is, the MVM. The most valuable move as Danny Beaky busts his Mugen open with that very move and taunts the crowd. He should be going for a cover here, by the way. And he does, but could it be late? Mugen kicked out. How did Mugen kick out of the MVM? And a kick to the gut. And another one. 
Oh my goodness, Dennis is getting fierce. Dennis fears that he couldn't put him away with the MVM. And wait a minute, Dan once again will go for the MVM, the most valuable move. That's two now. That has to be it now. The cover. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. How is Danny Beaky busting open Mugen and giving him two MVMs, not able to put away the Intercontinental Champion? And now Mugen's gonna go up top again. Can Mugen hit it this time? He nails the elbow drop. And now Mugen, he's feeling the adrenaline. He's feeling the momentum come back towards him. And now Mugen kicks the chest of Dan like he's nothing. And Mugen feels it. Whether that's gestures inappropriate or not, we don't know for sure. And it's Mugen! Mugen the stunner! The stunner! Mugen nails the stunner onto Danny Beaky. Well, will that be it? Can that be enough? One, two, three, and yes it will! Mugen defeats Danny Beaky with the stunner! And Mugen busted open, taking two MVMs, still prevails victory here. And will take momentum with him as he faces Sasuke Uchiha for the Intercontinental title at Animania 2. And we're gonna look at the instant replay here. Danny Biggie chokes out Mugen with those ropes until Mugen had enough strength to put Dan and send him to the ropes as well. And then look at this Danny Biggie with the MVM, the most valuable move on the Mugen, busting him right open. And then look at this, Danny Beaky taunting everybody when he should have just went for the cover on Mugen. He did, but Mugen would kick out instantly, like right there. And you can see Dan shocked. But this would end the match here. Mugen had enough strength and would give him a stunner. Danny Beaky would never forget. And now Mr. MVP went down. And then Mr. MVP got covered with the three count. And Mugen will win this matchup and take momentum with him at Animania 2 to face his opponent Sasuke Uchiha for his Intercontinental title. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back, back on ACW XL. Wait, wait, oh, sorry, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, Tad's interviewing Rock Lee. Let's take it away. <laughs> sorry. Rock Lee and Sasuke Uchiha, next on Excel. Welcome back to ACWXL as we get ready for our second Animania match, our Animania draw match, Sasuke Uchiha versus Rock Lee. Sasuke Uchiha just a few minutes ago probably saw Mugen score his victory over Dan Hibiki. So now Sasuke has to find a way to do the same for his chances at Animania 2. You can see Sasuke with that disgusting face he has on him. Not caring for anybody really. And now what's this? Sasuke Uchiha here taunting a little bit. Sasuke versus Rock Lee. A match that we have been anticipating here on ACW Excel for a while. And we're going to see it tonight. This should be one heck of a match, one clinic of a match. As he awaits for his opponent. And the crowd is on their feet! As the green screen effect needs only one thing. The Clover Leaf, Rock Lee, is here! Rock Lee, a fan favorite on Excel for quite some time. The moment he debuted, as Nenji's partner, 
The crowd went ecstatic and they still have love for Rock Lee here. But not tonight, Rock Lee will have to get over that kind of admiration that he has for the fans and fight his former arch rival, Sasuke Uchiha. As you know, Rock Lee and Neji Hayuga will team up as Team Guy as they face the Street Fighters, Dan and Ken, for the vacant Excel Tag Team Championships at Animania 2. But can Rock Lee take momentum with him and for, and for his team to face Sasuke Uchiha? And here we go. Sasuke versus Rock Lee. Now what's this? What's gonna go on here? And oh, Sasuke taunts Rock Lee. And Rock Lee does the same back. Oh, look at that kick. And oh no, Rock Lee stops it. And takes down Sa Sasuke Uchiha. And look at that, Rock Lee now taunts Sasuke. Now what's this? Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rock Lee takes Sasuke down with that back um, back body slam or whatever it's called, back toss. There we go. And now Rock Lee is taking Sasuke to the school. And Rock Lee now taunts Sasuke Uchiha once again. Sasuke getting a little agitated here as Rock Lee had the early taking this uh, match over in the early beginning. Now what's this? What's Sasuke up to? What does Sasuke have his sleeve up to? And now Sasuke up top. And look at that. Rock Lee sends Sasuke back down. The referee is counting here. Sasuke trying to get back in. Wait a minute. Rock Lee over the top rope with that body splash onto Sasuke Uchiha. And now Sasuke. Rock Lee trying to, is getting tired of waiting for Sasuke to get back in the ring. So takes matters into his own hands, and the cover could do it, but oh, rope break. Sasuke had his foot on the ropes. Irish for Sasuke Uchiha now. What's this? Wait a minute, Rock Lee turns himself around Sasuke, cover, oh, rope break. Dropkick right onto Sasuke Uchiha, the Gamma member. Speaking of Gamma, Moroku and Sasuke have promised that tonight there will be a new member initiated into Gamma. We have no idea who it is. I have no idea who it is. The people don't know who I don't know who it is. So we're gonna have to find out when they announce it tonight. They said it will be tonight, so kind of a bombshell. You gotta admit that this has maybe made um Haru like get kind of emotionally distracted. I mean mentally distracted here. Now Haru has to worry about a third member interfering in his match at Animania against Morocco the Monk for the Excel title. Those are some things you have to take advantage to. Now, nice um, back suplex there. Cover. One, two, and Rockley kicks out. Look at that. Sasuke. Oh, Rockley with that um, tornado clothesline, I'll call it. Whirlwind clothesline. I like Whirlwind better. One, Sasuke kicks out. Nice Whirlwind clothesline. There, official. Rock Lee now. Oh no, Sasuke blocks that punch there. And now Sasuke will Irish for Rock Lee into the corner himself. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, a psychic after doing a backflip onto Rock Lee's chest. Now Sasuke here does a nice headlock here to take down Rock Lee to wear Rock Lee down. It's probably working at the moment. Stomps the head of him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Roll up. One, two, kick out. Nice roll up there. Now Sasuke Arashes Rock Lee. Wait a minute. Sasuke goes on top. Rock Lee is down. Elbow drop is connected. And now Sasuke will work on the leg. Look here. Oh, and a knee smash drawn to the leg of Rock Lee. Now wait a minute. Cover. One, two, three. No, Rock Lee kicks out. Rock Lee is very strong here, ladies and gentlemen. Rock Lee is a strong person. Wait, go! Oh! Rock Lee with another whirlwind clothesline. Now Rock Lee will go up top. What's this? Moonsault connected towards Sasuke Uchiha with enough air to get it. The cover. Sasuke kicks out. What a match. Rock Lee was not lying. This is a great match. They're putting out a clinic here tonight.
Now Rock Lee and Sasuke reversing each other's moves, and Rock Lee with a nice dragon screw right onto Sasuke Uchiha. Now what's this? Rope break. Rope break as he was going for a uh, Boise Crab. Still got to find an official name for that. Oh my goodness, Rock Lee with that nice backbreaker almost connected to his head. Now Rock Lee will do his own ground headlock here onto Sasuke. Wow, stomping right onto Sasuke's head there. And now Rock Lee will Irish up Sasuke to the corner, clothesline onto Sasuke. Now what's this? Rock Lee Irish with Sasuke once again. Oh, Ducks on the referee. The referee got in the way there. Stomps the gut of Sasuke there. What's, what's Rock Lee going for? Look at this, Rock Lee stomping right at Sasuke. Wow. Rock Lee has taken over this match. He's been dominating this match. Wait a minute. Oh, oh Sasuke with that head scissors. Head scissors takedown by Sasuke. This could change now the whole entire game for Rock Lee here in this match itself. Now Sasuke will cover now. One, two, I'll kick out. Now what's this? Oh my goodness, a nice power slam by Uchiha. Look at Sasuke taunting Rock Lee. You think Sasuke, even though being dirty and cynical as he is, will respect his opponent, knowing what he asks, what he can do, and what he's possessed to do. Hey, wait, wait! Sasuke! Out of nowhere! The CKO! Chakra knockout, the CKO! Out of nowhere onto Rock Lee! This this could be it. This could be over. One! Two, three, oh my gosh, Rock Lee. Rock Lee kicked out of the CKO. Unbelievable. This kid has guts. And now Rock Lee tosses Sasuke into the ropes. Uh oh, now look at this. Rock Lee, suplex right onto Sasuke. Rock Lee trying to get back to some um, domination in this match. Grab onto Sasuke. Oh, and a clothesline. Nice clothesline. Wait a minute, Rock Lee, Rock Lee, oh, Shining Wizard, Shining Wizard, and he nails it. Rock Lee nailing his patented Shining Wizard, this could be it right here. One, two, two. no, Sasuke kicks out. And now what's Rock Lee doing here? Oh, and another clothesline from the turnbuckle, pulling Sasuke into him for a clothesline. Rock Lee now getting back his momentum here in this match. Grapple missed. And now, oh, and Sasuke out of nowhere. Using that throwback. That little neck breaker there. Oh, and twists the arm to slam it in the mat. And now Sasuke stomping onto the Rock Lee here. One of them have to want to have the advantage in this match. It looks like Sasuke brought it back. No, Rock Lee tosses Sasuke back in the ring. Oh, no, Sasuke. Another throwback. Haru's little move there. You, you, Sasuke's using himself. And now Sasuke. Oh my goodness. Nice belly flop by Sasuke. Now what's this? Sasuke Uchiha has Rock Lee in the corner. No, Rock Lee will toss Sasuke into the turnbuckle. And now Rock Lee is going to go for a DDT onto Sasuke. Now Rock Lee with that elbow drop. And now Rock Lee. Rope break. Oh, inverted surfboard doesn't work as Sasuke had the ropes. And now Rock Lee will have to look for a diff different method to do here. Irish up. No. Rock Lee backed him with the incision of the ropes. Turned to a clothesline. What an innovative move there. What's Rock Lee planning here now? Oh my gosh. Hey, wait a minute. The clover leaf. The clover leaf by Rock Lee onto Sasuke. Oh my goodness, I am marking out. I haven't seen that since Dean Malenko. Oh my goodness, Rock Lee cover. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Sasuke kicked out. How did Sasuke kicked out? Oh my goodness. Sasuke with that back toss, hard back toss. Rock Lee applying that little. Oh, wait a minute. Headlock takedown by Sasuke onto Rock Lee. But man, Rock Lee. Oh man, took him down. No, Rock Lee versus whatever Sasuke was going for there. Grapple? No, Sasuke moved away. Wait, wait, Irish trip. Sasuke. 
Sasuke Irish is Rock Lee. No, Rock Lee stops him. He's going up top. Rock Lee. Rock Lee's going up top. Oh my goodness! The CKO out of nowhere in midair. Rock Lee. Oh my goodness, this could be it. One, two, three, and that is all she wrote. Sasuke nailed the CKO in midair while Rock Lee was going for something on the turnbuckle. And it, and it benefited for him, as now Sasuke also has momentum for Animania 2 as he faces Mugen for the Intercontinental title. Let's see the replay from this match. Rock Lee would do a nice backbreaker here onto Sasuke, but Sasuke, out of nowhere, out of nowhere I tell you, now the CKO onto Rock Lee. Rock Lee would get pinned here, watch this, Sasuke, one, two, but Rock Lee kicked out. And look at this one, Rock Lee, Shining Wizard, this patented Shining Wizard, nailed right off to Sasuke Uchiha here. And now look at this, Rock Lee covers one, two, but no dice. And then look at this, but that didn't work, he went for the Clover Lee, Sasuke being Clover Lee by Rock Lee, an ironic name and an ironic move that Rock Lee would use, but Rock Lee would go for another pin attempt. And then look at this, one, two, the Sasuke kicked out. But look at this one, look at this, Rock Lee was going up top to do a mid-air move here. And Sasuke out of nowhere, out of nowhere I tell you, did a CKO onto Rock Lee. And I am shocked, I have never seen that in my life. As look at this, Rock Lee would get covered from the three count. And Sasuke Uchiha wins this match, will take momentum with him for Animania 2. And what a match. Rock Lee put an effort there, but Sasuke with that surprise off the CKO did that there. Coming up next, Gara and Zuko on ACW Excel. My goodness! Gentlemen, welcome back to ACW Excel, and we come back for some Excel action as we have Zuko going one on one against Gara for the first time ever on ACW Excel on ACW period. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Zuko these past weeks have been going on, been attacking certain members that will be in the Excel Road to Destiny match at Animania 2. Um, the Excel that we came back to return to the Excel from the hiatus. Zuko attacked Aang after Aang qualified for his match. Then he attacked Akuma last week on ACW Excel, the last time that we saw an ACW Excel. Now tonight he will face the man that he has not taken out yet. His name is Gara, who he will be facing in just a few minutes as you see Zuko having no remorse for what he did to Aang and Akuma those past few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, ACW Animator 2 is coming to you. 
Let's get rockin'. From Canada, from yeah. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I could be wrong. We could be somewhere else in Canada. Well, I'll say Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It'll be live on VO.com, Filefront.com, YouTube for the last time as a quick review, and on Call Underground. It is the second ACW Animania that we have ever held. Zuko showing his dominance and showing his pride as if he did what he did was right. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, we have two animated draw matches. We now know the matches now. The main event will be Ken Masters going one on one against Aru Glory and Moroku the Monkey Face Neji Hayuga. Those will be the two matches later on tonight. As you hear the song that Gar is known for, we await for the destruction of the Stan Shinobi. Gara! And there is Gara, the final person that qualified in the XL Road to Destiny qualification match on the last episode of ACW itself. He defeated Ryu to earn that spot, and now he goes to Animania 2 with his confidence that he will win the Road to Destiny match for his brand for a chance to become, once again, an ACW Excel champion. Tonight though, however, he goes one-on-one -on -one against Zuko, a man he has never fought before, a man he has never faced off against until tonight. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final episode to Iron Man 2. It's the final Excel episode until the draft, so this so the next time we see you on ACW Excel, we'll be back from our hiatus for a month. And ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna see some new faces on ACW Excel. Same thing with Impulse. Well, here we go. Garo will go one-on-one -on -one against Zuko in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. A little preview for ACW's Excel Road to Destiny match between these two, Aang and Akuma as well. And as you see, Akuma, sorry, Gara taunting. Zuko doing the same, but Gara wasting no time here, going those attacks with a drop kick, missile drop kick. Now look at this, Gara now has Zuko on the ropes. Now what's this? Oh, Ricochet with the ropes to do a suplex. Innovative move there by Gara. Now Gara will go for the cover. Look at that, Gara did a suplex and went for the cover. That is some good strategy there. Gara knows. Gara knows that he cannot be playing around here. He cannot play around like this. He has to go in there and do this to get a win and victory here, to get some confidence, some momentum going to Animania 2. Cover. Zuko once again kicks out. Gara just all business here tonight. Can't blame him. No, it's this. No, Zuko sends Gara to the corner. Gara pushes Zuko back. No, what's this? No, Gara sends Zuko there. Now Zuko shot to the ropes and gets tossed over the top rope. And now Gara and Zuko battling outside here as the referee starts counting. Ten count available here until the count out yeah. rule becomes in. Ugh, I just pulled it atomly. Sorry guys, I couldn't explain myself there. Now there's Gara slamming the arm of Zuko into the ring post. And Gara's just slamming that thing into the ring post and it's crazy. Look at, oh wait a minute, Akuma reversed it and slammed his arm into the ring post. And now listen to Zuko. Kicking Gar's gun, at, oh and there's a knee lift right there. Zuko gets back into the ring. Oh but wait a minute, Zuko breaks out the pin by going right back out. Nice strategy there, and another One. knee crash to the face of Gara. Two. Now what's this, Zuko Irish versus Gar back in the ring. Now what's Zuko doing here? Zuko, elbow drop onto Gara, And Zuko a little bit proud of that. Could you imagine that Zuko taking out three of his opponents consecutively? Wait, one. Gara kicked out. A one count there, but nonetheless was a pin. And now what's this, Zuko? Oh my goodness, a psychic square in the face of Gara. He's going for a pin now. One. Oh, nope. Once again, a one count. Zuko realized that it's going to take a lot more than just a psychic to take him out. Look at him, working on that arm. The way Gar pushes Zuko back. And what's this? Wow, nice arm drag. Now, what's this? Zuko. No, Gar pushes Zuko back. Zuko ducks on the Gara. 
Now Gar smashes that elbow right onto the face of Zuko here. Gara backdrop right onto Zuko. And an elbow drop to follow up. And now picks up the blue spirit here. Oh, twists the arm here. Oh, and yanks it right downward. What a great match for Senior tonight. And Gara shoves him down with that shoulder block. Gar going to top with that elbow drop. And now look at this. Gar is going to go for a ground headlock here. A move that we have been seeing quite frequently, quite frequently here on ACW. And look at that. Gar with his patented side suplex or gut red suplex or whatever you call it. Zuko got a road break out of that pin Gar was attempting. And now what's this? Gara. Oh my goodness, another suplex with the help of the ricochet of the ropes. Oh, but Zuko yanked him down. and now Oh my goodness. Zuko's feeling his gut there, but he's still wrestling. You got to give him credit for that. Nice snap there. Snap there, by the way. Oh, and a leg drop right off the guard. And another one just to add a little bit of injury. And a drop kick right onto the face of Gara. And what's going to, what's happening? Oh my goodness, a kick to the chest. Zuko has taken control of the smash, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Zuko once again with that with that high lift knee, high knee, blah, 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 high knee lift. Dang, what am I doing? Gar now reverses that Boston Crab or Boise Crab. Now what's this? Gar just punching Zuko, and Zuko gets over the top rope. Gar is leaning over the ropes here. And Gara! Gara with that suicide dive onto Zuko from the to the outside. Two. I cannot believe we are seeing Gara going everywhere here. Oh my goodness! Three. Slam Zuko's head right onto the ring post. Four. And Zuko once again archer to the ring post. Two. And once again his head smashed to the ring post. Five. It looks like Zuko's getting a little taste of his own medicine. Gara is no Gara is no ordinary person. He is not any ordinary person. The referee is counting now. What, what's this now? Gar has Zuko. Oh, wait a minute. Gar's going to go for a crab here. Can he nail it? It looks like he's going to nail it here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Zuko had the ropes, and he is so lucky to have him. Look at that. Zuko is wasted. And now look at this. Gar's going to go for the cover. Wasted no time. One, two, three. No. Zuko got his elbow off. I mean, shoulder off the mat in the last second. Now what's this? Gara will Irish rip Zuko to the corner. Oh my goodness, look at those knee lifts into the gut of Zuko. And you know Zuko has to be hurting because those because those um those kind of attacks to his gut is hurting him. And more to the gut as he does a stomping right onto Zuko's gut. And this is another cover attempt here. One, two, and again Zuko kicks out. Wait a minute, Zuko now. Reverses whatever Gara was going to go for there. Twists the arm of Gara's and yanks it downward. But Zuko, look at that. The gut is affecting him. His gut is hurting a lot. But look at that high knee lift onto the back of Zuko. I mean, the back of Aang. I mean, being the back of Gara. I'm <laughs> sorry. And now Zuko. Trying to get some rest here. Trying to get some breathing here. Oh, my goodness. What a drop kick by Zuko around to Gara. Now, wait a minute. Gara takes the um, legs of Zuko and sweeps him out. But look at Zuko trying to reverse whatever Gara's going to do to his legs. And he's, again, Zuko's just feeling his gut. It's not a good thing here. Look at that grapple. Headlock into a hammerlock. Backdrop. No, Zuko reverses with his own backflip there. And now, what's this? Zuko kick to the gut. Another kick. And look at these varieties of mixed attacks onto the San Shinobi. And look at this. Zuko going for a triangle hold. And wait a minute. Gara reverses it. Gara has been. Gara submitted Ryu with that triangle hold on the last episode of XL. That's how he got the spot to go to Road to Destiny. So Gara should know better to reverse his own move there. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, out of nowhere, Zuko. The red, oh my goodness, the red mark. 
The red mark on Tagara. Zuko nails it square into the face to the mat. And this could be it. And instead of Zuko pinning, he's taunting. And that's not going to do good for him. And now he's going to go over the cover. But will that be enough? One, two, three. No! Gara kicked out. Zuko should have not been taunting. He should have went for the cover at the chance he had it. And now he's working on that shoulder with those hard shoulder thrusts onto Gara's shoulder. Double axe hand onto the chest of Gara. Now both men grapple. And Zuko takes down Gara with that scoop slam. And once again, Gara will go for another red mark onto him. Zuko's nailing another red mark, and he nails it. That's twice in the same match. I think this is over. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, Gara kicked out of two, not one, two red marks. And now Zuko tosses Gara under the under the ropes. Imagine the skin being ripped out from the mat. And look at this, Gara's gonna look to get back some control here. And look at this, Gara working on the leg of Zuko here. Gara feeling his head, he got two red eyes. Can you blame the guy? Oh no, Gara pushes Zuko back. Gara's trying to go for kicking, got it. And with it, look at this, Gara! Gara with the sand claw! Gara has the sand claw right onto Zuko's face! Oh my goodness, I heard the crunch! The face crunched onto Zuko! Oh my goodness, the clutching sand claw. This could do it, because no one escapes from the sand claw here. One, two. Oh no, Zuko kicked out! Zuko kicked out of Gara's sand claw. And look at Gara! Gara with the German suplex! Oh my goodness, at a high elevation! And a kick to the gut. Another one. And a spear right onto Zuko. And look at this! Gara once again with another high elevated German suplex! This is crazy! Look at this! Look at this! Dragon Sleeper! Oh, but Zuko had the, his foot on the ropes. Lucky man. Takes down Zuko with that shoulder block. And now look at this guard working on the ribs and Zuko here. What a great match so far. We still have two matches left, so what does that tell you? And now Zuko tosses guard to the center, but you can tell Zuko's gut is not cooperating with him. And guard for the third time with the German suplex onto Zuko. And a kick to the gut. And takes him down with the shoulder block. Oh no, wait a minute, triangle hold, the triangle hold, he hasn't locked into Go Zuko, Zuko's locked into the, wait a minute, Zuko's trying to get out of it though, Zuko, yes he does, Zuko's lifting up Gara's legs and gets out of it, another lucky opportunity, that oh man, a high knee lift, stops Gara there, oh wait a minute, no, no, Zuko punches the gut, kicks to the gut, Gara is fighting back, strikes, kicks, punches, everywhere, an Irish rip, and now Gara, Sending Zuko up. What's he going for? Oh my goodness! Belly to belly suplex! And the cover! One, two, three! Oh my goodness! No, no, no! The referee almost had a three count there. We're still continuing with this match. And look at this Gara and Zuko battling for supremacy, battling for momentum. And look at this Gara once again locks in the sand claw. This could do it. This could be it. To, this could be it for the match. And there's the sand claw and tosses him over. Oh my goodness, that's the second sand claw in this match. I doubt he gets up in this one. But Gara, wait a minute, Gara, Gara once again going for the triangle hold. He has it locked in! He has it locked in! And Zuko submitting! Zuko submitting! Gara wins this match! Gara wins this match! And takes momentum with him at Adamania 2 in the Excel Road to Destiny match! Could you be looking at a potential Excel champion? Can Gara for the second time in the future get an Excel title into his belt? What a match, ladies and gentlemen! As you can see, Gara celebrating! For this big, wait a minute, Aang, wait a minute, Aang, Aang, wait a minute, the Avatar! It's the Avatar, Aang! The Avatar, Aang's back with a vengeance! He wasn't here la on the last episode of Excel because of Zuko's attack towards Aang on the Excel before that last week's episode. And I know you got confused, but bear with me.
and Aang is, Aang is re releasing some revenge on the Zuko. Aang was screwed and now Aang is going to return the favor on to Zuko. Oh my goodness, the animated two, these two will meet for sure in a Rose Destiny match. Oh my goodness, look at Aang. Aang is going bad. He's going, he's going crazy. Look at those punches on to Zuko. Zuko can't even believe this. And look at Aang. Look at Aang drag the carcass of Zuko around. Oh my goodness, Aang feels the pain. Aang knows, Aang knows that this is pain. Aang is giving Zuko a taste of his own medicine. Oh, but a DDT onto the ramp. As Gar is watching from the ring. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Akuma. Akuma, that's another opponent in the Rose of Destiny match. And an uppercut onto the San Shinobi. Hey, wait a minute. Akuma. He's going to nail it. A tombstone. Onto Gara. And the darkness pin to put it all to waste. Akuma's a... I cannot believe this. We have a we have a brawl here. Aang! Oh no, the the airbender! Airbender on the Zuko to the ramp! As Akuma and Gara in the ring are brawling. Aang is demolishing Zuko here in the ramp, giving him an airbender onto the ramp. <coughs> As we see, look at this. We're still watching Akuma and Gara. Oh my goodness, choke slam. Choke slam. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute! Holy crud! Akuma just choked Slam Gara straight to hell! Can Akuma be the next Excel champion? I am in shock here! We could be seeing a new champ! Every brand, every superstar. One unforgettable night. The ACW Draft, where anything can happen. Coming soon, only on ACW Programming. Welcome back to ACW and Sounds, and it's our third Animania Draw match of the night. Moroku the Monk, the ACW Excel Champion, will go one-on-one -on -one against Neji Hayuga of Team Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, before the commercial break, you just saw Aang return and attack Zuko. Payback for what Zuko did to Aang that put him out last episode. At the same time, Gara was attacked by Akuma, and Akuma chokes that Gara from the ring all the way to the ringside, straight to hell. And Akuma, I have no, anybody can win the Rose Destiny match. I have no idea who's gonna win it. I can't give you a clear winner, to be honest with you. And I know you guys probably can't give me a clear winner. But nonetheless, moving on, Moroku the Monk, showing his arrogance as usual, facing Neji Ayuga tonight. But at Animania 2, he will defend his Excel Championship, the title that he won last year on Animania 1 against Gara due to controversial interference from a masked man. He will defend that title at Animania 2 against the Royal Rumble winner from Excel's brand, from the brand of Excel, Haru Glory. That's for Haru Glory, he'll be wrestling later on. Actually, he'll be wrestling next after um, Moroku and Neji facing Ken Masters of the Street Fighters. That's our main event of the evening. As you saw, Neji, actually, sorry, I forgot to mention, Neji came out during the program, during the break. So Neji was already out, but uh, Moroku, oh my goodness, Moroku got sidekicked. He got pwned or whatever you want to call it. Moroku was taunting to say, come over here, and then Neji just sidekicked him, knocked some of his teeth, and he did it again. But only this time Moroku goes over the top rope. And now look at Neji. He's telling Moroku to come bring some. Look at him tell Moroku to bring some. Moroku trying to get in the ring. But wait, Neji over the top rope with a splash onto Moroku. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, Haru Glory faces Ken Masters in our main event. And t I'm guessing before this night is over, Moroku and Sasuke of Gamma will announce their newest member of Gamma. Moroku announced it before we went live on Excel tonight here in Boise that we will have a new ah. member coming to Ace to come into the Gamma Squad. And um Six. you know, who is anyone's guess who it could be? It could be from Excel, it could be from Impulse, it could be somebody that hasn't even debuted from ACW for a long time. But um 
Eight. We have no idea. I just saw Neji break up the pin there. Broke the monk on the outside was just tossed to the crowd by Neji Ayuga just a few minutes ago. And look at this, Neji relying on his kicks to take down the XL champion. Oh, but Moroku tosses Neji over the top rope. And look at that, and that, and that could have been a big break for Moroku because now he's going to take the advantage and use it every way he can. And look at this, and look at that, spits on his hand and slaps onto, Mor onto Neji. How disrespectful can you get? Oh, look at that, Moroku with that elbow right to the face of Neji. And look at that, another spit, spit, and a punch right back to Neji. Ridiculous. Six. Irish about to Neji now. Oh, it hits him right from the head. Wait a minute, look at this, Moroku. Look at Moroku. Sharpshooter, the sharpshooter. Reminiscence of Bret Hart. Doesn't hold it very long, and Neji's right back up. And now look at this. Uppercut by Neji right onto the champ. Now what's this? Neji going for a submission of his own. Figure four leg lock, reminiscent of the nature boy, Ric Flair. And wait, wait. Moroku lifts the leg of Neji and gets out of it. Surprising. Elbow to the face. Punch to the face. Irish shoot to the corner by Moroku onto, onto Neji. <coughs> look at that. Look at those knee thrusts onto the gut of Neji. You have to wonder that Haru Glory is watching backstage and is watching. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Moroku outshoots himself and put his boot right onto his foot right onto the face of Neji, unprotected. You have to wonder that Haru is watching this match and knowing Moroku dominating. Cover. One. Two. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was over. That looked brutal. I thought his head got beheaded. Nonetheless, look at this. Uh-oh. Spine buster. Oh, wait. I thought I thought it was going to do it right there. Instead, it will go for an inverted surfboard stretch here. Neji has to get out of it. And look, wait a minute. Neji. Neji breaks out of it and gets right back up. And look at that. Another uppercut. Oh my goodness, Neji with the Shining Wizard. A little right back at you to Moroku after what Moroku just did to the corner. And now, now look at this, Moroku. Oh my goodness, another Shining Wizard onto Moroku. And a drop kick onto the chest of Moroku. And look at this, Neji's going for the cover. He's not hesitating. One, One two. two. Oh, kick out. What's this, Irish Whip? Now, oh my goodness, a power slam pin. One, One two. two, and Moroku kicks out. But Moroku feels the after effects. And look at that, an eye rake. <coughs> as if he was yeah. learning from Hulk Hogan's school of heels or something. He is sure doing so. Oh my goodness, what a high elevated monkey flip. And an elbow drop to finish it off. <coughs> Kick to the gut. A punch. And once again, spits on his hand and punches it out to Neji, showing disrespect. But then again, it's Moroku the Monk. Do you expect anything different? Our strip out to Neji. And another spine buster. Oh, man, I don't like... Oh, yep, here it is. He calls it the most electrifying move in anime entertainment. The Peasants. Elbow. And he nails it. The peasant's elbow nails onto the chest of Neji. Could that be enough? One, One two, two th No, Neji kicked out. That was that was kind of close. And Neji side kick from the, onto the back of Moroku. Oh man, Neji surviving here. Give Neji credit where credit's due. Look at that chop and a punch and another chop. And look at that, Neji. He's hyped up. He is superficial. Look at him with those strikes onto Moroku the Monk. Anyway, Moroku goes under Neji. Backdrop. And nails it. Could have stopped Neji right there. Wait a minute. No, Neji. He won't give up here. He's punching the gut of Moroku here. Oh, look at that kick right onto the head of Moroku. Oh, my goodness. That judo style kick I have not seen for a while. Kick to the gut. Oh my goodness, can you believe these kicks you're seeing here? Oh my goodness, an integrate. This is why Neji is called, look at that, Shining Wizard. 
That is why Neji Hayuga is called the master of kicks. And this is why the bus saw kick. Oh my goodness, and that's it. That just took his head right off his shoulders right there, obviously. One, two, three. No, Moroka kicks out. Could have been an upset here. And look at that neck breaker by Moroku right onto Neji. No, Neji swipes Moroku's foot off the mat. Elbow drop right onto Moroku. Wait a minute, Neji's going up again. Another elbow drop onto Moroku. Now what? Kick to the face. Another kick to the gut. And look at this 64 fold. And he nails it the 64 fold right onto Moroku the Monk. One, two, three. No, Moroku kicks out again. You have to give Moroku credit. How is he sustaining all of these <coughs> kicks to the body? Wait a minute, what's Moroku doing? He's hiding up behind the ref. Oh, come on! Moroku used the referee as protection and pushed the referee towards Neji to get some cheap shots in. Irish trip onto Neji and a clothesline onto Neji. And Neji's feeling hurt. Wait a minute, Moroku just took down the turnbuckle pad. Oh my goodness, Neji's back hitting the exposed turnbuckle and the ref didn't see it, he just recovered. And no, 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 not again. And a clothesline. Oh no, the monk bottom. No. And he got it. The monk hitting the monk bottom after the help from the expo exposed turnbuckle. Oh man. One, two, three. That is ridiculous. You have to admit that that horror is watching saying he has to watch out for those kinds of tactics because it could happen to him it could happen to anybody that faces Morocco the month we're gonna go over the instant replays here of the match look at this Neji Ayuga going for a figure four right onto Morocco the monk Morocco able to lift Neji's leg and was able to reverse it as you'll see here there he did and then look at this Morocco the monk Taking a page book right out of Bret Hart and doing a shot shoot onto Neji. Neji shining wizard right onto Moroku the Monk's face. And then look at this part. Neji, this is why it's called the master of the kicks. Bus saw kick right onto the head of Moroku the Monk. You see Neji go for the cover here. One, two, but no, he kicked out. So Neji tried again. The 64 fold he calls it when we would go for Moroku the Monk. And he nailed it onto Moroku. Went for a cover again. One, two, but a kick out nonetheless. Moroku used the referee here, and look at that. Bunks the referee onto Neji, and then the exposed turnbuckle he took out. He will Iris took it onto Neji with that exposed turnbuckle, and then afterwards would do a Monk bottom to seal the deal of his victory here tonight. That, and thanks to that exposed turnbuckle that Moroku just let out, Moroku hits the monk bottom, and Moroku is out here with a victory, and there's a three count. Moroku the monk escapes with a victory here tonight on Excel. Pathetic. But that is just what Moroku is. We're gonna go to Maria. She is at the locker room with Haru to get his thoughts on what he just seen. Take it away, Maria. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening, Haru Glory, Ken Masters, Anime Draw Match, next on Excel. You have a passion, something that you live for, that you sacrifice for, that you give everything to without blinking an eye. That's my passion, my passion, the thing you dream about. But what you do makes you who you are. Where it all begins. 
again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to go over the card for ACW Animania 2. Cruiserweight Championship. Shout to Dennis Tinka, Ryoma, the champion, Higashi, in a battle royal. Plus a mystery opponent we do not know. We'll find that out on the impulse. ACW Impulse Tag Team Championships are on the line. Ness and Lucas of Earthbound face Ray and Rye of White Tigers. Will the Ray and Rye team defend their title successfully? Or will the rookies win the titles at Animania 2? Then for the ACW itself, Tag Team Championships. Rockman and Edgy go one-on-one -on -one against the Street Fighters, Dan and Ken. Who will become our first ever ACW itself Tag Team Champions from Animania 2? And then ladies and gentlemen, the XL Road Destiny match. Zuko, Rara, Akuma, Egg, four of the biggest stars of Excel will go at it. And then Road Destiny match. Who will be the Road Destiny champion and Wait become a potential um, XL champion? For the ACW Turbo Championship, the final turbo matchup. The champion Momochi Zabuza faces Kyo and Kazuki, the Royale Rumble winner for Turbo. Who will become our final turbo champion for the final time in this final turbo match? For the ACW Intercontinental Championship, Sasuke Uchiha, the challenger, Mugi the champion. Mugi won the title last year. Can he defend it successfully this year? Or will Gamma have a title that they will hold, which means Sasuke? And then, ladies and gentlemen, for the ACW Most Championship, it will be Beast Boy, Naruto, and Edward Elric. Beast Boy, the champion. Can Naruto win it for a second time in his life? Or will Edward Elric be the wild card and win the belt for the first time ever? And for the ACW Excel Championship, Moroku the Monk, the champion faces the Royal Rumble winner of Excel, Haru Glory. Moroku won last year in the controversy, getting defended this year against the Royal Rumble winner Haru. Then Haru with the belt for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, Animania 2, live at Dio, Valfront, YouTube, and Paul on the ground. This month on Click Review. Don't miss, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be a big mega event. To witness. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our main event of the evening. Now, what, what, wait a minute. It's Ken, there's Ken right there, but what, the, what, what, what is Moroku doing? What, the, what is going on here? Look at, look at this. There is, there's Moroku the monk right behind Ken Masters. It, it, Wait a minute, is Ken Masters the new member of Gamma? Can, can this, could this be possible? Could Ken Masters have joined Gamma? I mean, you have Moroku the Monk saying that a new member joins tonight. Moroku's right beside Ken. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Moroku's coming out to, to see Ken try to destroy Haru Gore. That's a possibility. But I have, I have no idea what, I'm confused at this point. Is Ken the new member? Ken Masters waits for his opponent Haru Glory, the Excel Royale Rumble winner. The man that will face Moroku the Monk for the ACW Excel Championship at Animania 2. As you can see right there, Haru Glory getting the support as he usually does from the fans. Tell that Haru Glory loves the adrenaline, loves the excitement the fans give him. Haru Glory, ever since this promotion started, has gotten multiple ACW Excel title opportunities, but somebody would screw it up for him, mainly Moroku the Monk. And now, there's no more running, there's no more hiding, there's no more excuses, there's no more games to be played at Animania 2. Haru Glory will meet Moroku the Monk for the Excel Championship once and for all. Can Haru Glory be, have a title in Excel Championship for the first time in his ACW career? Or will Moroku retain the belt? Because let's think of it, last year Moroku retained the, won the Excel title from Gara at the controversy. And look at that, Haru just looked right at Moroku. He doesn't like what's gonna go on here. Look at that. Look at that. Looking right at him. 
But Moroku won that belt from controversy from a mission opponent who we still don't know attacks guard to this day. But Haru has a chance. He has a chance to make that mistake not happen. He will go one on one against Moroku at Animania 2. Live at Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Or somewhere in Canada. Well, here we go. Ken Masters, Haru Glory. In our main event of the evening. The bell rings and here we go. You see Moroku the monk outside in the rings out in the ringside there. Haru Glory trying to go for attack here. Watching his back here. Moroku and Ken. Wait a minute, Haru Glory going outside. Haru's attacking. Haru's attacking Moroku the monk right now. And look at that Ken is rushing outside. And oh wait a minute. Ken Master stops Haru Glory. Haru was going for Moroku. Haru thought of Moroku first. But he didn't realize that Ken Masters was right there within him. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we still have I, Moroku and Sasuke have not told us who's the new member of Gamma. But you see Moroku out here accompanying Ken Masters. I have no idea if Ken is the new master or not. And oh DDT. You can, Gamma is known to play mind tricks. This cannot be the member. The member can interfere at any time. We have no idea what's going on. It could be the masked person that started this whole controversy in the first freaking place. Now look at this hard Irish trip. Stops. Ken ducks under. Ken Irish just hard outside and brings him back in. Ken. Goes up top. Elbow drop. No, Haru had his knees up. Stops that attempt. Look at that. Haru stumping on the legs of Ken. Look at this Haru cover, but no, Ken kicks out. As you can see, Moroku's just watching it decisively. Watching there as if he's going to do no harm. When we know that's total BS. Moroku the Monk is out here to play games with Haru. He's here to play games with Haru so hard, it's not even funny. Look at Ken with those strikes onto Haru. And Haru goes over the top rope. And look at this, Ken is distracting the referee here. Oh, come on! One. The referee distracted by Ken Masters as Moroku the Monk Two. just low blow Haru from the outside. Oh, man. And, now, and Haru's just trying to... Look at that, Haru still fighting back against Ken, but Ken reverses Haru's attack. Haru, Haru knows this is a handicap match. Haru knows this is a handicap match. Three. So now Haru has to fight two people. Four. Now what's this? Ken goes back inside. What's this? Oh my goodness, a pile driver right onto Haru Glory, the Rave Master. Now what's this? An MMA like headlock by Ken. Just the rope break there by Haru. Haru eye strip. Ken chops. And once again, Haru goes outside. And look at this. Ken is distracting the referee again. And Moroku once again attacks Haru with the uppercut. The referee didn't see it. And look at this. Ken now. Oh my goodness, backdropped Haru on the ringside. This is ridiculous. This is a handicap match. It's two on one. It's Moroku and Ken versus Haru Glory. Moroku the Monk wants Haru Glory weak. He wants him just stupefied. He wants him in, in his worst shape so Moroku can get an easy victory at Animania 2 against the Brave Master. This is insane. One. Two. Oh no, Ken kicks out. I mean, sorry, Haru kicks out. This is ridiculous. With, with Moroku outside, Moroku is making this a handicap match. It's Ken versus Haru, not Ken and Moroku versus Haru. Ridiculous. And now Ken Mass is going for a crab right onto Haru Glory. Haru's trying to get out. Ken gets right. Oh, look at Haru. Pushes his legs onto Ken. 
And Haru's gut is just hurting it. Oh, Haru pushes Cannon. Look at that. A tilt of world's block right there. Haru Glory goes up top. Elbow drop. No, Ken with his knees up. Haru Glory has to be off his game. He has to think about Maroka at the same time. He has to think that he needs momentum going into Animania 2. And right now, he is not having any momentum as of late. Haru Glory now twists the arm and sends it downward. Arashus the Street Fighter. Wait, wait what's this? Haru goes up top here. Wait, whoa, 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 and a suplex! Takes down both men. And now Haru Glory is trying to get some rest here as his head is hurting. And, oh my goodness, Moroka the Monk again! Distracts Haru Glory! And Moroka with a guillotine! And Ken is right back up to take advantage. This is ridiculous! Oh, wait a minute, Ken! Ken tosses him under the ropes! Onto the ring side. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ken, Ken attacks the referee for no reason. And look at this. Ken is attacking Haru now. And a backdrop. Oh, oh wait a minute. Ken undoes the, undoes the turnbuckle. Wait, wait, wait. What's Moroku doing? Nutbreaker! And there's a headlock. The referee's still dazed. And once again, Ken is attacking the... What the hell is going on here? What kind of main event is this? The referee's being attacked. Haru Glory's being handicapped for Christ's sakes. I mean, I apologize for my dialogue here, but this is out of control. This is crazy. Rogue the Monk is interfering in this match. And it's BS. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Not this way. One, two, three. No. Haru kicks out. Haru kicked out. Haru will not stand for this. Oh, no. A clothesline. Onto Haru. Oh, and Irish, is, Irish puts him into the turnbuckle. The explosive turnbuckle. No. Haru pushes Ken back into the turnbuckle. And now Haru, he's not going to take any BS anymore. Haru's going to fight back. And Irish puts Ken into the explosive turnbuckle. And pushes him back into the explosive turnbuckle. Good for Haru. Haru's fighting a fight here. And look at this. Haru, Haru spears and punches Ken. Haru's had enough of this crap. Haru. As much as the fans and myself had enough of this crap. And look at this. Haru's going after Moroku. Haru's going after Moroku. The throwback into the ringside. One. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my breath here, but I don't even care. Haru's attacking Moroku here. Oh, wait a minute. Haru is basically on his own fighting this matchup here. Three. And there's a throwback from Ken as well. And look at Haru. Four. Oh, look at that attack round to Moroku. Haru knows that he has to take out Moroku. Or this is over. Hey, wait a minute. Haru! Haru! No! Ray Driver! Onto the canvas! And he deserves every dang bit of it! He deserves every single pain coming from that attack. And then this Haru still has his eyes on Ken Masters here. The Street Fighter. Turn! Oh, there's a throwback for Ken. And now Haru stops on the leg. Haru Glory, I cannot believe this, but Haru Glory is getting back some ground here. And look at this, Haru Glory! Haru Glory! Rave Driver! Rave, wait a minute, Moroku! Rave Driver, but Moroku! Distracts the referee again! This man will not stop! This is ridiculous, this is highway robbery! If Ken Masters wins this, oh my gosh, Moroku is attacking the referee! This is unbelievable! Oh my goodness, and Moroku the Monk attacks Haru Glory. Oh, and an uppercut. Come on, referee, get up. Can't you see what's going on? Moroku the Monk. Oh, wait, no, no. Moroku. Monk bottom onto Haru Glory. And he gets out of the ring. And Cat Masters is still down. But who really cares at this point? Haru's just been screwed and robbed. He's been cheated out of this match. And if Ken wins this match, it's highway robbery to its fullest. And the referee's back up. Haru Glory took him down from that monk bottom.
And Ken doesn't know what happened. He doesn't even care, though. You think Ken cares what happened? He wants a dang pin. And look at this, Ken. He's adding insult to injury here. Oh, my goodness. Give me a break. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ken. Ken. Oh, my God. A low blow onto the Rave Master. Just for Ken to be sure he got the win. One, two, three. And this is ridiculous. As the month flips off, Toru just to add insult to injury. And, and, wait, wait a minute. What the? What, what is this? What, what the hell? Moroku! Moroku has just officially made Ken a member of Gamma! What the hell is this? Moroku is clapping and raising his hand! Ken Masters is a new member of Gamma! What will unfold at Animania 2?